there's some interesting data being presented about the role of antibody drug conjugates in multiple myeloma. Most of the data that we're seeing is with lantamab mafodotin, which is a first-in-class antibody drug conjugate for multiple myeloma targeting BCMA. What we're seeing with belantamab mafodotin is that it's now licensed for use for patients with relapsed and refractory myeloma, typically at fourth line and beyond. But we're seeing a number of different combinations being presented. We have the DREAM6 combination, which is a combination of belantamab plus revlimid and or bortezomib. And also at this year's ASH, we saw the combination with pomalidomide, which resulted in very high response rates and a manageable toxicity profile. So clearly what we're seeing is that ADCs can be combined with standard of care agents fairly well, and they are resulting in high response rates. Also at this year's ASH was a new ADC uh, from uh, Medimmune. And what was interesting about this ADC was that this also had very high response rates as monotherapy in patients with relapsed and refractory myeloma. But unlike belantamab mafodotin, this has a different conjugate. So this conjugate causes a slightly different side effect profile. What we saw predominantly was some myelosuppression, which is what you'd expect. But we also saw some other interesting grade three events, namely pleural effusion and photophobia. And the photophobia caused a number of discontinuations. It's not clear what caused the photophobia. It's not the same mechanism of action as the ocular problems that we saw in belantamab, and that's still under evaluation. But clearly, this uh, Medimmune agent had clear effectiveness in patients with multiple myeloma. And hopefully, if the toxicity profile can be uh, managed better, then this could be another treatment available for patients. Well, also, what we see when we look at the overall landscape, there are a number of different ADCs undergoing preclinical evaluation. So I do think that antibody drug conjugates in general represent a new class of treatment which we hope to be able to give to patients with multiple myeloma. And I look forward to some more data coming out in the next year or two.